Hey guys, it's Heather with Jumping Spiders USA. So today we are going to be unboxing the Zilla Micro Habitat. I know lots of people have these, but before we get started, how about you can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash groups slash Jumping Spiders USA. Also, be sure to give this video a like, share, comment. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know how your spiders are doing. Subscribe, click the little bell so you get uh, notifications for all upcoming content. All right, so this ring light, I'm sure you guys can see this and it's like right in my glasses, but I'm like trying to make sure that I have like good lighting to um, do all of this. And these aren't like the special like lighting protected glasses. Look into my eyes. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna unbox and I'm gonna tell you about this enclosure. So I ordered this yesterday and it just came today. All right, so we got the Zilla Micro Habitat. A lot of people use these um, and the dim dimensions are four by four by eight. It says small arboreal. And I know a lot of people use these um, for their spiders because they are readily accessible. Like, you know, if you, you look on Amazon, they just like come up immediately and you know, so I know a lot of people um, have these and I know that some uh, pet stores sell these. Okay, so just right off the bat, I'm just going to say you have to assemble this crap. Okay, people. Let me, I'm going to turn this camera around. People, there is a better way. I, okay, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I have been doing this spidering thing for a few years now and so many escape stories for jumping spiders um, start with one of these habitats. So I'm just gonna let you know, I like, I'm already biased against these right off the bat. I am not a fan of these so let me just say that but I wanted to do this because I was like all right let me see about this myself and let's see if there's a way that we can make them better because so many people have them for jumping spiders because they're just so readily accessible you know like they're everywhere like at pet stores and on Amazon like if you look up like a small enclosure you know they're just they're just there they're super easy to find so a lot of people have them and they and they don't cost that much this costs like $18.99 I think it was so let's go back to this, but let me just say, let me just say that um, I am not super impressed. Like we already, you know, have to put this mess uh, together. I hate this thing already. All right, it says that I'm going to remove the clear protective film from each panel. Oh, but that is sad. Okay, well, I like that. I love removing protective film from new products. Satisfying. All right, Zilla. You get an A for film removal. This is the Ikea of jumping spider enclosures. Guys, why? All right, this is a lot of weight. Pretty big trash pile over there. Okay. Attach the front, back, and two sidewalls to the base using the silicone bands as shown. Okay. Okay, so this thing then must be the base. 
but mine is not exactly like that. It shows like, yeah, this is not exactly like that one. Zilla, mine is not exactly like this. You see this? It's got like two of these things on each side that you clip into there. Mine is not like that. This is like one clippy clippy. Okay, the vents go at the top. All right. Oh, that made an awful noise. Okay, so that, I guess, goes on there like, like that. Okay. And this goes over here like this. And I, I clip these? How do I clip these? What if this thing slips off? Like it slips off and then where, where is your spider? Up on your ceiling, that's where your spider is. Oh, this goes to get, okay, this does not go like this. I don't like puzzles. put a door yet three what is this security locking handle where does this go in the top but it hasn't told me to put the top yet how can I snap the security locking handle oh do I tap do I put it on here before I put it on there that way? Does it go this way? Is it the same on both sides? Alright, well there's a definitely a way it seems it wants to go in better. Alright, now the top is on. Last thing is the door. How did this door go? Okay. Alright. We've got gaps, okay, yeah, yeah, we, there are just too many gaps in this, like, okay, so right there, you've got a little bit of gap, um, and these don't, these are not made to go there, you've got some gapping, right, there around the door um you definitely got gaps right here where the bottom piece and the um and the door yeah this is a no from me dog um all right this is the enclosure okay I will say this, it is a nice size. It is very clear, the um, enclosure itself, the, class, the plastic is quite clear, that is nice. But for almost $20, you know, after you factor in taxes and everything, let's say like 20 bucks, there is a better way this like what happens if you like you know something you pop one of these off or okay so we've got this and then you you know bring it back around here to come and then okay it's just it's just not Yeah, and it just got these gaps. And you have to put it together yourself, and it has gaps. 
Okay. This is not it. This ain't it. So it has taken me more than 15 minutes to put this thing together. Which, you know, okay, that's fine. That's not a lot of time in my life. But I spent $20 on this. Okay, so let's say size is good. Clarity, you know, of the plastic, good. Ventilation, if you factor in, you know, like all the gaps around it, ventilation, you know, is great. I typically like more ventilation than just you know, these sides here. This is not, okay, now let's talk about all the cons of this enclosure. This is only good for a mature jumping spider, like a big mature jumping spider, like an Audax, an Odiosis, a Regis, like Putnamy, Whitnamy, you know, one of those, like, you know, something that's like Audax plus size, um, at maturity. And you want to make sure that you do not have a gravid, you don't put a gravid female in here. Because if you put a gravid female in here, or if you're not sure if your spider is gravid, I made a video for that. I'll link to it down in the description. Her slings are going to get out of here. Like, they're going to come all out of here. All out of here. They're going to come out of these gaps right here. They're going to come out of this gap right here. And where was that other? Oh, yeah. They're definitely coming out of this gap right here. You see this? You see this? A much bigger spider than you would think is coming out of this gap right here. So, honest review. Unless you have a large, mature, not gravid, jumping spider, and you want to put this together yourself, and spend the $20, off Amazon. Knock yourself out. But friends, there is a better way. I don't know off the top of my head. I like, you know, I'll edit this back in when I like make the video. I always recommend there are two enclosures I always recommend. Number one, if you want an undecorated plain enclosure for jumping spiders, um, I always go with big fat fids. Their stuff is just good. Like it has more ventilation. Um, it has the mesh and the grommets over the ventilation. The size is nice. The plastic is good. Um, they're sling proof. Like you can put any jumping spider in there and it's not getting out. There's no gaps. You don't have to put it together. It's like, you know, it's two pieces and you, you know, open and you take the top off the bottom and then you put it back on there. Or if you want a decorated enclosure, I always recommend Spood Manor. Just because Brittany's stuff is perfect and amazing and gorgeous and so cute. And she does the, um, the mesh and the grommet method as well. A different kind of enclosure, but, you know, she does that method as well. Plenty of ventilation. Um getting it the top on and off is good there are absolutely no gaps anywhere with those with this i hate to say it but this is not it like i've been doing this for a, like several years now and so 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 many escape stories begin with the zilla micro habitats these aren't for jumping spiders like I'm sure they would be great for something else if you want to put it together you know I don't know what you could put in here um, maybe a tiny tarantula or you know maybe like a tarantula sling or maybe like some kind of beetle or something maybe a little teeny tiny baby gecko but um 
not a jumping spider. So that is my honest review. And I'm going to link in there to what I feel for a thousand million reasons is a much better enclosure. So be sure to find us on Facebook. There's a really great care guide that I wrote over there. Very complete. It's like 15 pages long. Um, it's all the things that you need to know. Be sure to subscribe so you get, uh, you know, more videos like this so we can talk about these things. And find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash jumping spiders USA. And so good luck and I'll see y'all there.